Everyone talks about pro wrestling, but everyone talks about which era of wrestling was the best. Everyone talks about an era of attitude, the golden age of pro wrestling. But now there is a new style of wrestling, a new breed of wrestling, an era which will never be defeated. New Breed Wrestling. Hello wrestling fans, this is Sal Sanchez welcoming you to another exciting hour of New Breed Squared Circle. Now this show was actually taped back in November prior to our Christmas taping in Eldon, Missouri. We aired the holiday tapings during the holiday season, so now we're bringing you the show that was taped back in November. If you notice, there's a guy in ringside that eerily looks a lot like my jerk of a co-host, Jason Mortis. This show will clear up some of the questions you might have had concerning the content of last week's show. So sit back with your always safe cheesy popcorn and your bottle of great value Mountain Lightning and grab a hold with new breed wrestling. Let's go to the ring. <laughs> Yes, 
every single day of the night. It's the night of weather practice. Christmas came early, more salt. Oh, it's a good night. Let's do this, boys. All right. something in a movie that goes a little something like this. There's a couple of kids who went to the fair. Their parents would take them to the fair all the time and one of the favorite things that they would love to go see is a dancing chicken. It would be a chicken up on a stage that would dance around once the music started playing. Well, one day the boys decided to sneak around back to see how they were making this chicken dance and they discovered that underneath the stage they had a fire going and they would turn the flames up and heat the stage up and that's what made the chicken hop around. The boys often thought, why didn't that chicken just hop off the stage? Well, it made me think that since the beginning of new breed wrestling, I have been that dancing chicken. And now, I've decided not to dance anymore. At least not for you fans. People have been hitting me up left and right since the last show in December. Wanting to know, Iceman, why did you do what you did? a hard luck how. Quite frankly, not any of you fans deserve an answer, deserve an explanation of why I did what I did, but I'll give you one. You see, in the 23 years that I've been in the wrestling business, I've always tried to inspire excellence. Well, in my mind, Hard Luck How started losing that excellence. You see, when it comes to new breed wrestling, I am one of the most successful wrestlers on the roster. And you can't deny that. Here are the facts. I have been the new breed wrestling heavyweight champion, the United States champion, a tag team champion on three different occasions, the PopCon champion. I even went on to win the United States Highway Championship at New Breed. So that really only makes one title that I have yet to hold to make me the first ever Grand Slam champion when it comes to new breed wrestling. And so see, I started to think of myself, I'm on a whole different level than Hard Luck How, and quite frankly, a whole new level above all you fans and anybody else in that locker room as well. So see, Hard Luck How started to lose that excellence almost costing us the tag belts over and over again. And it's pretty simple, really, if you think about it. 
The only reason we won those tag belts is because of me. It's the only reason we won them. And the only reason we lost those tag belts is because of you, hard luck, Hal. Apparently your hard luck ran out. So I'm going to make a statement right now. In the year 2023, when you hear the name The Iceman, you will respect the game and fear the name. Elbin Tire and Brake is your full-service auto repair shop located at 210 East 4th Street in Elna, Missouri. We specialize in mechanical repair new and used tires, and complimentary state vehicle inspections. Let our auto repair professionals show you that you can trust Elden Tire and Brakes. Make your appointment today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our opening matchup here on New Breed Wrestling is going to be a battle royal over the top battle royal with an opportunity for the winner to receive a title shot in the near future. The stakes are high in this one as the contestants make the win to the ring. the contestants making their way to the ring and what we have here really is the who's who of new free wrestling all of these men could be champions in their own right but tonight one of them will get a guaranteed title shot here in the near future slammer making his way into the ring here comes Bert candy dior austin mulatalo Dr. Ison, Daniel Maxson, and of course the big guy, the big cowboy, Tyler Bodine. Bodine a little reluctant to come in the ring here. Having some short words with the fans. And the crowd picking up that slammer chance. We know who they want to see victorious in this one. Of course, the size advantage in this battle royal has to go with Burt Candy and Tyler Bodine. As Candy watches there in the middle, Bodine goes to work on Austin. Slammer taking on Dr. Ison. And Blur Dior stomping on. Daniel Maxson. Oh, here's Money Mike on the outside. And once again, we have Dr. Ison almost out of there. Slammer uh, has got him over that top rope. Can he hold it and pull him over? So close as uh, Dr. Ison holds on for dear life there. I know he wants to regain that new breed heavyweight championship. And here we go with Blair Dior just got a right hand from Tyler Bodine as Max and Rams. Burt Candy into the turnbuckle. Oh, big forearm to the chest. Doesn't phase him. And 
ice and once again into that top turn buckle by Slammer. Oh, and another one. As Austin Militalo working on Tyler Bodine, tried to pull him up, but couldn't quite do it. Couldn't get the big man up. Oh, almost going for a body slam, and here comes the slammer with a slam of his own. To the delight of the fans here in Warsaw, Missouri. Mulatalo with a suplex, a beautiful one there. And goes right back in to Tyler Bodine. Fjord taking a breather there in the corner. Here's a clothesline, and Dr. Eisen is up and over, ladies and gentlemen. Our first elimination, Dr. Eisen. So here we go. Looks like perhaps a powerbomb coming up. Oh, big powerbomb by Tyler Bodine. Bodine following up there with Austin Mulatalo. Blair Dior in the corner. Once again, taking another breather. As Slammer is uh, making work of Daniel Maxson there in the corner. He's got him up dangling over that top rope as Bodine and Bird Candy trade blows. The two big men going at it here, which actually could be an advantage for the other contestants here. You knock the two big guys out, take them out of the uh, match, then uh, one of the other contestants could certainly be the winner and go on to win championship gold. Here we go again. Dior and Maxim working together there, of course, part of private practice. But here comes Austin Mulatalo with a drop kick into the corner. And now he's got Daniel Maxim back off to the corner. Slammer going to lend a hand. And you might notice that uh, astonishing Austin Militalo is still sporting that arm injury, shoulder injury. And here we go. Big chop to Blair Dior. That's going to leave a mark later on tonight. I guarantee it. So Militalo. Oh, that was Austin Militalo. Austin is now eliminated from this match. Match continues. Slammer taking a breather. And private practice goes on working on Burt Candy as Blur Dior just kind of sneaks away into the corner there. Oh. A little double team there. And a high five by private practice showing their solidarity. Oh, but Slammer slamming up. The crowd getting behind him. Maxon and Bodine trading blows with Slammer. Oh, no. We know this. And here we go. Slammer picking up momentum. Picking up steam here across the ropes. Oh, went for that big boot. Couldn't get it. Dior still resting in the corner. Bert Candy taking the rest as Bodine uses that top rope for leverage on the slammer. All right, picking slammer up. What's he got in mind? Looks like, yeah, he was going to try to throw him over the rope. Oh, but there we go, and Bodine is out. Bodine is out, ladies and gentlemen. That leaves Daniel Maxson from private practice, slammer, Burt Candy. And Blair Dior, as the crowd chanting, they're stomping, they're clapping, and both the Slammer and Burt Candy, they're getting kind of hyped up here. It looks like they're going after Daniel Maxson in the corner. Oh, but Maxson retaliates with some boots and some blows, staggering their offense. Oh, but Blair Dior made his way up. Dior holding Max and oh, and he took that big splash from Burt Candy and Blur Dior is back down. All right, so who is uh, 
Candy going to follow up with as all four men kind of taking a breather here. Slammer over in the corner. Oh, there we go. Brings up Blair Dior. And looks like perhaps a whip across the corner. Oh, he could be going in for that big splash. Oh, but double team effort by Maxson. Sends Maxson right into the corner and down to the mat. Now looks like, once again, Candy and Slammer teaming up. Both coming with the big boot. And look at, look at that. Look at Candy. He's channeling Hulk Hogan there. Kind of reminds me of when me and Gene Oakland tagged with Hulk Hogan back in the days. That's going way back. I'm telling my age here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Slammer and Candy. Oh, big chop to Daniel Maxson in the corner. Blair Dior is still down. But it looks like the team of Burt Candy and Slammer could be one to contend with, perhaps. Maybe some tag team gold in their future. All right, Maxson back up. Oh, and follows up with some boots. Oh, but caught by a big boot by Slammer. And another one sends Maxson down. Oh, no. Crowd calling for the splash. We've seen this before by Burke Candy. Oh, my goodness. I think uh, that may have rocked a few boats out here. There's a lake, German Lake, just right outside the venue here. I'm sure everyone thought there was an earthquake in town. All right, Bert Candy staring down Maxson and Dior. But still, we see that team of Slammer and Candy. Oh, man, that was a low blow. And that got... And that gets the big man down. Another low blow. Sends down Slammer. And here comes Dior. Dior setting him up for something here. Goes in for a kick. Takes him across the ropes. Oh! Went for a super kick but got caught. And got a big clothesline there from Daniel Maxson. All four men are down. Referee Vito checking it out. And the crowd once again picking up that Slammer chain as Slammer makes his way back up to his feet. Going to follow up on Maxson as he delivers a couple right blows. Uh, what's coming up here? Way up across the road to the reversal. Sends out Slammer. So Slammer's been eliminated. We're down to three contestants now. Burt Candy, Daniel Maxson from private practice, and Blair Dior. I didn't see that coming. I think Slammer actually was one of the odds on favorite here to win this uh, battle royal. Oh, double axe handle by Burt Candy. There we go. Dior struggling to get back up on his feet. And a big hip toss by Candy sends Maxim down. Showing that pure power that he has. Don't let the physique fool you. This guy is actually very athletic, very powerful, and very strong. Oh, super kick. And a clothesline sends Maxim over. And Daniel Maxson has been eliminated. So that leaves our final two contestants here. Blair Dior and Burt Candy. Both men up to their feet. Little uh, friendly handshake there. Nice show of sportsmanship. Dior trying to punch him in the belly, but looks like he hurt his hand on his own. He must have like an iron gut or something. 
Okay, here we go. Oh, again, he went for a chop. Didn't even move. Oh, and retaliates with one of his own, and down goes Dior. So here we go, Burt Candy. Up against the ropes there in the corner. Another big hip toss. And that sends Dior staggering, but he's back up to his feet. Oh, no. This can't be good. Close line up and over. And we have a winner, ladies and gentlemen, Burt Candy. So Burt Candy will go on for championship gold here in the new f near future. He's got a title shot at either the U.S. title or the new breed heavyweight championship as Candy celebrates in the ring, doing that little dance to the delight of the fans. We got a lot more action coming up. We're gonna go to a commercial break, but don't go anywhere. We got a big main event, triple threat coming up next on New Breed Squared Circle. What's up, the neatest fans in pro wrestling? This is nothing neater, Derek Teeter, and I made my return last month at the New Breed Wrestling Toys for Tots event, where I, nothing neater, Derek Teeter, saved Christmas from Evil Money Mike Pettis. Now, I might not be 100% just yet, but every day I get a little bit closer to stepping back in that ring so you guys can witness the neatest choke slam in pro wrestling. I'll see you when I see you, New Breed Wrestling fans. Keep it neat. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here on New Breed Wrestling, getting ready for this triple threat match and making his way to the ring. One of the bright young prospects here in New Breed Wrestling, Blair Dior. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Blair Dior. And they're proud of hearing War Cemetery. They love Blair Dior. He's got a little bit of a new look, a little new attitude, and some new music making his debut this week. And the crowd, once again, getting pumped up, getting ready for this big triple threat match that we have going on as our main event here. And here he is accompanied by the genius Money Mike, one of the smartest men in professional wrestling, part of private practice. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Maxson. And we all know that intro. You see the money. We got the music, we got the class. Here they are.
And once again, no love whatsoever by the crowd here in Warsaw, Missouri. That seems to happen a lot with Money Mike. I don't understand all the uh, all the hostility toward him by these uh, fans here. And our final contestant here in this big triple threat. We all know him. We all love him. It's the candy man, Bert Candy. As he dances his way to the rain and into the hearts of the fans here. He's got some pretty good moves, I have to admit. Maybe I should take some uh, dance lessons from him. Never know. And the crowd here, very happy to see Bert Candy. As the crowd's dancing with him, having a good time here. It's a party every time Bert Candy comes around. But I tell you what, he's also no nonsense in that ring. Known for that big steamroller, where he literally just uh, smashes his opponent. So this is going to be interesting as these uh, three men get ready to do battle here. We've seen what Dio can do. We know what Bert Candy can do. And of course, you never know what's going on with Daniel Maxson when Money Mike Pettis is there on the outside. Fans have some choice words there for Daniel Maxson. As we wait for the bell to ring, Maxon finally entering the ring. Referee Vito checking out everyone, making sure there's no foreign objects. Nothing wrong here. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, match is official. As the three get ready to lock up there in the center of the ring. Now, what's going on here? You got a little conversation going on between Bert Candy and Daniel Maxson as uh, uh, Dior just kind of stands in the background. Not, oh, and here we go, a shove and an arm drag. And a big drop kick. Sends Maxson out of the ring. As the or it's a Gurry there. And Money Mike checking on Daniel Maxson. As the or pounds on Bird Candy, but Bird Candy overpowered him. Knocking him to the corner of the ring. Here comes Candy. Oh no. A big chop by Bert Candy. Uh, could he be setting it up for another one? No. Big toss to the other corner as Bert Candy starts slapping his belly there. Getting the crowd riled up. Bird making his way into the corner. Oh, went in for that big splash, but missed. So here comes Dior following that up. Another little bit of an it's a jury there almost. Wrapping him or um, putting him up to the uh, corner there. Off the rope. Almost sends the big, or oh, he does send the big man down to one knee. 
We don't see that very often. And Dior continuing his offense there on Candy, but Candy with a big right of his own. Here we go, big body slam. Oh, this cannot be good. I'm not sure what Candy said. And a big elbow drop. Oh, my goodness. Here's a quick pin. Only a two count. And Maxon once again in the ring. Going to work on Candy. Again, you can't help but to uh, watch Money Mike there on the uh, outside. And there he is into the turnbuckle. And Candy delivering some blows there to the chest. As Maxon uh, gets out of the way. Taking his time there, speaking to the crowd. But now he finally heads over to Daniel Maxon, whip across the ropes. Oh, big clothesline sends Maxon down. Hey, new breed. Hard luck, Hal Rogers here, telling you to check out all the hard hitting action of New Breed Wrestling on YouTube. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. O'Reilly. Here at O'Reilly Auto Parts in Elton, Missouri. We have several free services, like checking the scan tool to check your check engine light or battery alternator testing. We also check fluids, change bulbs, and batteries, unless professional installation is required. Come and see one of our professional parts people today or call 573-392-3341. Here's another pin. Again, only a two count here. Max is a tough competitor. I will give him that. Oh, a little irate. Pulling out all the stops there as Maxon throws Burt Candy out of the ring through that middle rope. And here comes the oar once again. Following up with a blow missed and a big chop. By Daniel Maxson, there's another boot. Working him there in the corner. Referee counting it, telling him to uh, break that hold. He's got five seconds. Oh, and another big slap to the chest. So it appears that uh, Dior could be in trouble. I was whipping to the corner. Oh, it goes in for a splash and misses. And here comes Dior once again. Perhaps a pin. Yes. Only a two count once again. Dior back up to his feet. Whip across the ropes. Oh, and a reversal. Oh, and a big power bomb. Again, only a two count. And Burke Candy seems to be up over on the outside of the ring. And here we go, speaking of Candy, making his way back in. Oh, Max and ramming him right into that side ring post. That's solid steel, ladies and gentlemen. As Candy confronts Max in here. Again, that conversation going on. Trying to listen to it as well as we can. We can't quite hear everything that they're saying to each other. Oh, what? And a return on that big slap. Sends Max in there to the center rope. Oh, 
And Candy just taunted Max, and here we go, another Irish whip. Oh, and Candy's down. Only a two count. Maxon unloads on him, stomps on him. And you notice there that uh, Dior is still on the ground over in the corner of the ring. Big smack, big chop by Bert Candy. Maxon returning with the right. And another chop to the chest. Doesn't even phase Candy though. Here we go. Candy send him up again. Oh, another big chop sends Maxon down. I will say, Bird Candy packs some power behind those uh, punches, behind the chops, pretty much behind everything he does here as he uh, connects with the right. And sends Maxon staggering. As the or though, look at this. He's making his way up to the uh, top rope, perhaps. Here we go. What's he got in mind? As the two men battle on the other side. Here we go. Off the top onto Maxon. But Maxon back up. Oh. Here we go, Maxon following up with a pin. Only a two as Burt Candy makes the uh, save there. Candy again. Working on Maxon, delivering some blows. And another one connects there, another right. Oh, another big body slam coming up. That sends Maxon down. Uh oh, what's this? All right, we see the shirt coming off. Oh, we know what this means. We see the singlet coming down. This cannot be good for Daniel Maxon. No, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, there it is. The steamroller. Oh, flattening him like a tortilla. Oh, that's good. that's gonna do some damage here. Here's a pin. Again, only a two count. Maxon showing that toughness of his. I'm not sure if I've ever seen anyone kick out after that. Maxon following up with that chin lock. Wearing, I'm sorry, Candy working on that chin lock. Wearing down Maxim, doing all, everything he can to try to uh, change the pace of the. Oh, and a super kick by Candy. Oh, I'm sorry, by Dior. Sends Candy down. Here we go up to the road. Oh, but a suplex there. Sends Dior down to the bat. Referee Vito checking out both men. And it looks like this match continues. This is a one fall triple threat. So whoever gets the pinfall is the uh, winner here. Candy and Maxson. Oh! Big chop to the chest doesn't phase him. And there we go, another one by Candy sending Daniel Maxson down. Maxson following up again. Oh, a forearm to the chest. And here we go, once again, Burt Candy following up on Daniel Maxson, pulling him back to his feet. Oh, Fireman's Carry here. Oh, but couldn't quite get him up. Maxson wiggled his way out and follows up with a drop kick. Staggers Burt Candy just a little bit, but he doesn't quite get the big man down. Oh, and a big clothesline. 
Once again, we see Monty Mike Pettis coaching his van there, giving him some pointers as Candy follows up on Blair Dior, whipping into the corner, reversal, Dior, oh no, power bomb by Burt Candy. Burt just cleaning the house here. Only a two count once again. I'm pretty sure I know who the uh, crowd's behind, but it's still anyone's match here. As Candy and Dior and Maxon, they're in the ring. Here we go again, Fireman's Carry. Oh, and drops them down like a sack of potatoes. Once again, picks. Blair Dior right up. Oh, spinning mule kick. Oh, and a net breaker. And that's the three count, ladies and gentlemen. As Daniel Maxson is victorious here. With a little bit of help from Burt Candy. What's this? Money Mike. Money Mike giving Burt Candy that big wad of money there. Buying the services of Burt Candy. And Candy couldn't resist that cash. Oh, I love it. Candy now part of private practice. As the men celebrate here in the ring. Well, not liking what they're seeing here, but you can believe your eyes, yes. Bert Candy. Did it says Daniel Maxson here? I didn't think we'd ever see that. This has been an exciting hour. Be sure to join us each and every week here on New Breed Squared Circle. Make sure to follow us on all of the social media. And we will see you all next week. Wrestling fans, don't forget, every Sunday afternoon, New Breed Wrestling uploads a new episode to YouTube. That's right. Come see all the stars of New Breed Wrestling. See every punch, every kick, every arm drag, every backdrop. See all the action that only New Breed Wrestling can bring to you. Every Sunday on YouTube. That's right. New Breed Wrestling. Sundays on YouTube. Come grab a hold with New Breed Wrestling.